previously on Super Team. You got Mount Verde, number one team. Give me everything you got. Can you just put us on his back? Hey, KB got bunnies. Target. We gotta play with a lot more fight. Our shots just didn't fall when we needed them to. We're gonna get it right, we're gonna figure it out. Wasatch is a top 10 team. Wasatch is a great team with guys going to top programs. We know 23 is going to Ohio State, he's a good player. And I grew up with the same basketball team since we was young. I know he can. It's good to play against him and good to see him because I ain't seen him in like a year. He gonna, he gonna knock that out, I swear. I know. One playmaker, he can you'll start on him. He also can shoot. Two, doesn't want to pass, wants to shoot. Nolan Hickman is a shifty dude, just like Darius Garland. He's a tough player. There's not much depth. And you get two and one tired, their shooting percentages just start to drop. This is a marathon of 11 days. The games have taken a toll on the body. It's tough to bring intensity in every night on the long, long trip. A lot of minutes for our starters. But we got to do our best to fight through. We want to be number one. You ain't going to be there unless you take care of today. Jumped on him early. KB, you a bucket, bro. Yeah! Come on, Kenny, go strong. Kenny's not playing great. Yeah. Man, come on. Come on, Kenny. Why are we so soft? You can get a rebound and then you turn it over. Yeah. You gotta be ready to play. Come on, fellas. But we're not doing good enough down here. We need to have better help defense. Defense has got to separate this game, right? Defense on three, one, two, three. Defense. I dive on the floor for the loose ball. We needed that. Jaden has added intensity on defense. That block was tough. Jaden never gives up on that play. That should have been on Sports Center for sure. He got crazy bunny. Good job, KB. KB's not all dunks. He's got finesse too. Nobody can stop Willie. Willie, Willie. Good job, boy. Willie, keep on controlling. When you go in, you have to do your job. I'm kind of the big brother that says, hey, this is what you got to do. Yesterday you did your job. Today you're not doing your job. We got to play gritty. Matt, you see how they play? We got to play exactly like them. They have freaking McDonald's All-Americans. They're going to fight you and compete. So it's going to take the possession where you dive for a 25-foot ball and you get a shot clock. Last man standing. Be the last man standing. All right, let's go. Let's go. Nolan Hickman is a walking bucket. Good. No, that's just a bad pass. It's not there, don't throw it. Be smart. We gotta turn things around. Your energy freaking sucks. Your energy freaking sucks. I got one dude freaking competing. I got one dude competing. I told you it's a freaking dog fight. Raise your level of drive. Raise your level of fight. Be tougher. We're to have one loss here. I'm not planning for another. I'm begging you, man. You're the number one point guard in the country. Freaking play like it. He knows wherever he throws it. I'm gonna go get it. That's why he's the number one point guard in the country. You don't feel like playing. Kenny's really not playing good right now. Luke trusted me to make a substitution. Get Kenny out. So I decided to take Kenny out. You don't want to play today. Kenny, wake up. Stop me out for for no reason. Kenny is pissed. Kenny just kicked the chair. Kenny crazy, but when he get mad, he start getting crazy. Don't do that no more. Don't do that. Just soft. 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 So I say some worse to him. Kenny cursed at him, because Kenny really not scared of nothing. Kenny, Kenny is savage. Kenny just said some stuff that I don't let grown men say to me. To say that something like that to Coach E, he like 6'5", 280, and he, I think he lived about every day. Lucky you're not my age, talking to me like that. I think he wanted to fight me. And Coach E was about to fight him. Kenny almost brought the big dog out. So lucky he's not my age, talking to me like that. I told him, let's take it outside. <laughs> 12 rounds in a boxing ring. I have to take my boy Kenny. I might take Kenny off the reach though. Strongman Kenny, Sweden Kenny, that's my guy. What the hell, bro? We got boxing gloves. 
KB, I bet you a thousand dollars that Coach E beat KP in a fight. I think it'll be a good fight, honestly. Mm, really, Kenny can't mess with L. But he was a little scared, so. So he sat back down. <laughs> this is a one possession game. We made our run, they made their run. Where's our response? We need to step up the defensive intensity. We just look lost out there. You've been prepared for this moment. You either give in or you go to the well and you dig in and you find it, all right? Hey, let's go, let's go. Short! KB always knows how to get some bucket in tough moments. You cash for real right now. Really with the step back. Dub City. The minute the buzzer sounded, he came and gave me a hug and apologized. I love you, man. <laughs> he did the battle. I got a lot of love for you. All right? Yep. I dubbed him up to the game, man. It was cool. I get frustrated because you're one of my favorites and I want you to play well. So it pisses me off even more. It's like, even, even after this, you're going to have a great career, bro. You're going to make money playing this game. He was very regretful. And we went off from there. We played four games in five days. That was a high-level game with a lot of really good players on the floor. They shot it well, their bigs played out of this world, and you got it done. And it wasn't pretty. We got to a moment where it's like, what are we about? And to our team's credit and to our maturity, you figured it out. It was nitty-gritty time. We made big plays. In a 25 to 30 game season, you got to find a way to win eight or nine games that aren't your best. We handled adversity through the game. All the adversity, me and Kenny cussing at each other in the bench. It's little stuff like that. They, they had 26 turnovers. And that's good players. That's a guy going to Kentucky having eight turnovers in a high school game. It is something to be proud of, but again, long week, right? We ain't going to make no more excuses, though. We're going to throw them out the window and, and keep winning, and keep winning every game. We're going to go get something to eat, go back to the hotel. I'm like, I know, I know for a fact y'all got some work to do in the classroom. I know y'all got work to do in the classroom. As much as we don't want to think about that, as much as we don't want to process that, we got to get to work the next couple of days, okay? Got to get to work. When we're not playing basketball, this is what it looks like. We were off school for two weeks, so we had to find time to do uh, homework. If we don't get good grades, coach, he's not going to let us practice or play. Believe it or not, our school is actually hard, and we have a bunch of work to do. The only reason we're in here is because we have good grades. My uh, GPA is at least 4.0. If we don't, we'd be in the main room doing study hall with the coaches. What's your best subject? A PE. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm the smartest guy on the team, school-wise. Definitely. <laughs> How are your grades in Sweden? Oh. I failed every class. School was so much harder back home. I just came here and it was so much easier. It's a lot of work, but it's easy. The homework is so easy, simple. They expect more from us back home, and I feel like more intelligent people back there than here. Come on now, you don't need none of that. No offense. I can speak three languages. Say, let's go play some basketball in all three languages, you know. Come, we go spell a basket. Manan pelan kori palo. Let's go play some basketball. <laughs> Kenny Pelton was very funny. People think he's so serious and so like, tough and all this, but like he's so soft inside. Like when we travel, I'm his roommate every time. Hello, everybody. And all he does is jokes, eats, and works out. Kenny, what's your best subject? Weights. Shut <laughs> up. And I'm usually right there with him too. How are you feeling today, Star? I'm good. That's, that's my guy. Like, as a person, he's a great guy. He's probably my best friend on the team. <laughs> How was it growing up in Sweden? I don't know. I grew up in Stockholm with my mom and my two siblings. I've been here eight years. I think I've had uh, three Swedish guys. He was really highly touted. I think he was like top 20 in Europe. I didn't know much about Sunrise, but I decided to try it and it worked out perfectly. His journey from where he got here to where he is now is, is pretty night and day. He barely played a sophomore year to this year, being our anchor defensively. Yeah! On the court, he can shoot it, he can drive, he can put the body on you, fake spin. He's a great player, you know. From a kid two years before that could barely see the floor, it's, it's a pretty cool growth to see. Bye everybody, this was Sunrise Christian Academy, episode 5. Episode 6. Episode 10. Episode 7. <laughs> Just vibe everyone. We better head out, you know, gotta fix the hair. Go to get this dub. If you didn't play well yesterday, go out there and just play as hard as you can. Alright, let's go, come on.
good response, your energy, your focus, your effort defensively was what it needed to be. We're not going to let a loss affect us. We've got to keep moving forward with a little bit about it. Huh? That's number nine in the country, and you just embarrassed him. Well, real. You go like this. Yeah, we've had a lot of free time on our hands. Whoopsie. Bubble life, man. Halfway through the week, and we're like fragged. It's exhausting. What is he doing? Drop the ball! I'm going as Rotate! I can. Rotate! Damn it. You gotta be ready to go help him. There isn't a magic dust where we're gonna score every seven seconds. It's not there. They guard too hard. Take out any stupid crap that's inside of your brain, inside of your mind, inside of your heart. Just remove it and let's go with us. When things are challenging, what do you do? You're tired, pick your brother up. We got four freaking more days here. This thing ain't over. We're just at the hotel getting a light workout in. We got a lot of downtime here at this bubble, and you know we gotta make some TikToks. <laughs> That's uncalled for. <laughs> what are y'all doing? This is called treadmill yoga ball. <laughs> Why is that so satisfying? You gotta roll it this way. We got film at one. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. This was not my fault. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, oh yeah. That was good. That was good. <laughs> no yoga balls will harm in making this video. It's time to. Let's go. Another day here in the bubble. The sink's filled. So <laughs> What happened? Who oh, did that? Like... Being in a bubble is definitely a fun experience. All right, guys, get in bed. Who's going to stay in a hotel for two weeks? We got to run because we can't start slow right now. Today we got IMG Academy, top five team in the country. They got guys going to Michigan, Indiana. That's a tough program. We're to the final three hours. Being in a bubble this long is different. What? We need everybody for these final two and a half, three hours to fight. It's time we let everybody know what we're made of. We're to the last two and a half hours and we need all 12, all four staff, cameraman, every freaking ounce for three hours. Come on, let's go. We can't even show you this game. That's how good we were. We were so amped because we were down. No one thought we were gonna win. But no, we showed the world something else. It's lit, man. I can't tell you how awful the start was. We make it hard on ourselves. We got down 21 to nine. And you just dug in and you dug in and you fought 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 and you fought. Played together as a team and we're just there for each other. It's the toughest team in America. We dug down deep, we found something. We went somewhere and we found something. We're gonna take a couple days. We're gonna heal our brains. It was a long week. Cause I know we're tired. We're gonna heal our bodies. It means everything. And we're gonna win some more, okay? Hey. Oh! the next super team, Sunrise Christian Academy. And it's great to be back home. You can't be yelling like that. Beat it, nerds. Dude! Don't stop, hey, don't stop, hey, hey. You know the drops don't stop and neither do the blessings, y'all. If you want to get dripped and fitted like your boy, all you got to do is click the link over here. Also, don't forget to subscribe this away and check out more fire videos over here. While y'all do that, I'm going to tell my mama on overtime.